Hello my friends and welcome back to FNAF World. So last time I went through these trees to this area right behind Choppy's... Uh, not Choppy's Woods. Actually, I suppose it is behind Choppy's Woods, but I'm in the carnival area, sort of. Uh, but rather outside it, and... I can just sort of dander about here. on In between the carnival and... This hell hole? And I don't know what all I can find in here, but I have found a very powerful mini-boss. I guess it's a mini-boss. I killed another enemy by not actually playing. Uh, there's a very strong mini-boss that I found here when I was playing in my hard mode file. And I don't know if I'll find it again. There it is, Mad Endo. So, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat this guy. I would like to hope I could, but I don't mm, put too much faith into it. Uh, cup kick, even though I don't really need it. Bite 2. Bite does a decent amount of damage, but I'm going to need to weaken him a bit more. And by that, I mean stats and status inflictions. So let's do that. And then birthday and then switch, because I can get my Chica to use Sludge on him. But at least with this defense stone, I could... Uh, okay. With this defense stone, I can do a bit more stronger attacks. So why did I use Water Hose? That's completely pointless in this scenario. I might actually be able to beat him. I, I sucked in my hard mode file. As I switched to these guys, that was the wrong entire move to do. I'm panicking, as per usual. I need to take his attack down. Come on. Gloom Song. Uh, we both had the same idea there. Great. So he's down to about half health. I don't really know if this guy gets much harder. Wait, where are my... Did these guys already die? They don't have any presents. Or does the... Oh, does the present not work on boss fights? Is that what it is? Oh, that would be some bullshit. I never got told this. This wasn't in the terms and conditions of, of the song. The song... Damn it, I read... <laughs> I read the name of the attack and I, was, I said song. Stop that. Come on, I need to kill this guy. I can kill this guy. I know I can, so long as my Freddy stays alive. And he's not doing a lot of damage, so I believe in myself. This is it. This is the one. Like, obviously he must have beat me in the hard mode, because with it being hard mode, he's a lot stronger. But it seems to be just as challenging, even though... Um, this is regular mode, not hard mode. But he's doing less damage to me than he did on that one, so I don't fucking know. But I'm taking him down right here, right now. Ready for this? Get my cupcakes out. And this, this bite will take him right down to the wire. Oh, look at that. One more bite and he's dead. Got this shit. There we go. Suck it, Mad Endo. So now we can explore this outer area. 300 experience. That's less than what the giant eyeball gave me. And you looked a lot tougher. So, this is our first red chest. Pizza Fury. A steady stream of pizzas keeps rolling in. Well, that sounds better than the comet, so let's do that. Crying child. Poor guy. So to get these, I, th I guess you have to go through an obscure way to find yourself. So that red one must be the bosses you encounter for the red chests, which is interesting. There's another red chest right there that I get by going through one of those purple tents. I need to figure out a way to get in those. Yeah, so my, my, my boxes are back, so you don't get them during boss fights, I guess. Which is upsetting, but oh well. It may mean that uh, for boss fights I may just have to pull, pull out a better one. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, where is the purple tent? There. So... When I'm in this area... I can... Okay, these guys are strong, so I need to switch immediately. Uh, skip key. One down. Uh, bite two. Uh, toxic bite. And... Just keep them pizzas rolling in. It's just a, a, a swarm of pizza. Right here. If I could just kill him with a skip key, then we could get through this a lot quicker. Oh, hello, mysterious snowballs from Cake. Makes no sense. Water hose. They're bound to be dead by now. Okay, just one. Unscrew it. Take that cake apart. It's mechanical and shit. Okay, now you should be dead. There we go. Okay, that's a good sign. I'm being able- Oh, 420! Blaze! We're killing enemies that are in this area, which which is a good sign. I would like to unlock a nice strong character, like, uh, oh, 1666! Six, six, six. That's it. Game over, man. Game fucking over. Okay, so that's- that purple one is the one that we can go inside of. How do I get inside of you? Whoa! That's weird. Ball boy. They are weird. <laughs> I know it looks just like the big guy with the big brow, but my god. God, 
Blin boy, your relatives are creepy. You yourself are creepy, but they're even creepier. God. Uh, let's see if we can get a skip here on these guys. Uh, nope. No, we can't. Okay. I might be able to water hose in here. Nope. I am not good at judging the damage. Yes. Okay, now I should be able to take this guy down. No? How about you don't? Oh, he gets all the good balloons. He doesn't get a single green, does he? Ah, this should be you now. No. Yes, there we go. Still, at least in this area, we're getting a lot of experience and fast tokens. All right, let's move on. So I can't seem to actually get in this tent, but that is the purple tent. Like, there are purple tents everywhere, and that is a purple one. Like, I don't understand. Do I like to... I probably have to go through and go through the front door. So I need to find a glitched one, maybe? Mm. Unless I have to go through there, which I don't understand how I get through. Look, not now. I'm, I'm exploring. Run. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just simply don't know. This is confusing. No, 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 no. Not right now. I'm trying to figure shit out. Go away. Get out of my life. Leave. Right now. Taking your time. Anytime you want to leave. That'd be beautiful. I'm not going to die until you let me leave. <sighs> Come on. I ho how long do you have to hold the run button? I'll just revive myself. This is ridiculous. Just run! Surely it has to run. Right, well at this point I may as well fight because either that or I'll die. God damn it. Why did that not do anything? A skip key. I need to kill them all right now. No, I'll kill none. That's exactly the way I wanted to go about this. And now my healer's dead. All I have left is my auto killer. And he's dead. And my Freddy. And I died because I couldn't run away. Fantastic. Thank you, game. Yes, I will just continue from where I left off. You fucking bastards. That was some bullshit right there. How long do you have to hold a run button to run? I suppose while I'm here, I might as well do this. I feel like I've done this on the Let's Play yet, but I actually win this quite frequently in my free time. I will show you guys how to be masterful at the catching of the pearl. So it's lined up with this green one here, so I need to wait till it's got a fair bit of distance, and... And welcome to Freddy's Fishing Adventure 5. Here we see the Fredbear in his boat trying to fish up a pearl. I don't know why the pearl is the item that we're fishing for, but it is. Currently our objective is to make sure we hit none of the fish and hit the pearl spot on. But the pearl is lined up perfectly with this blue fish and this purple fish. Or pink fish. Actually, those are the pink ones, those are the purple ones. You'll see what I mean? Anyway... You might have to you might have to have a bit of patience for this because the fish can be little bastards and not give you an opening sometimes they do and it's quite a small opening you have to be ready for it but today they're not biting they're giving me a terrible opportunity here and by terrible opportunity I mean literally zero this is my my shot right here and look at that I got the pearl patience is key <laughs> I got the pearl not that it matters that's a whole 100 tokens when I don't really need a hundred. There's a lot of stuff I could buy at this point, but I mean... No thanks. I kind of want to save up for that big 9,000 one. And then start buying things, which is probably a very cheaper idea. Because that's a lot of fast tokens. But oh well. Now then, let's see. Uh, five puts me here. So let's see... What is that? There is a silver thing here. I don't know, I can't, I can't figure this out. Look, I just want to get on with things, alright? Just fuck off a minute. There's not any of these graves that I've encountered in this area yet that send me away. Uh, nope. So I should probably have a, have a wee bit of a stroll around here, because I just sort of went straight into the 
Kiv. Block jump scare? Makes you immune to jump scare? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's nice and all, but that seems like a... I mean, it's a, it's a good idea, but it doesn't seem like the best idea. I can't go through any of these trees. Ugh. <gasps> Excuse me. No, not right now. I would love new characters, but I must go. I must run! Oh, fuck it, I'll just fight then. If, it goes, if it's gonna take that long, I know it's not gonna work right off the bat. And I am not letting myself die by fleeing again. Wait for this, but I'm waiting for this to bite me in the ass now, where I'll die by fleeing again sometime. They'll have a, 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 a chip themselves that says, if your opponent tries to flee, they die. And then it won't go exactly the way we want it to. Okay, good. There we are. Okay. Well, you know what? As much as I hate to say it, that's gonna be the end of the episode. Okay, there's no enemies to fight. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of the episode. I'm sorry that we didn't do a lot. God damn it, we should've just ran. But we didn't. If I just fought those guys, we probably would've beat them. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.